All my assistants are away, except Calvi Longworth. He might turn up. In any case, my men Denny will look after you. Captain Drummond was actually on his way from his country house to meet this girl last night. And the accident prevented him. In my opinion, it looks pretty bad, sir. In my opinion, it looks pretty good. I shall meet the girl. Is she pretty? Well, sir, it's all a matter of opinion. Denny, you're hiding the truth from me. If this girl's no good, you've got to get another. I'm not going out to rescue a lemon. I quite understand, sir. The first thing to do is to hear what she has to say. And what did she say last night? Well, nothing, sir. Except that it's a matter of life and death, and she will only tell her story to Bulldog Drummond. And Bulldog Drummond is ready. What time is she coming? Ten o'clock, sir. She ought to be here any minute now. Fine. Then give me a gun. You don't want a gun for this job, sir. Then give me some chloroform. Because you don't need it, sir. Then give me some rope. No, no, sir. Well, give me something to hit her on the head with if she's not pretty. Oh, I don't think that will be necessary, sir. As soon as you've got this girl's story, I shall phone it to the captain. And I expect that will be all you'll have to do. But aren't we going to see any bodies? I shouldn't think so, sir. Aren't you going to see anybody gagged and bound? Oh, I should doubt it, sir. But this is not in the Drummond tradition. I want something big, something I can get hold of. Stand back, you rats. If you think you've got me, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> Forgive me for laughing, but you all look so funny. That skims her to the life. <laughs> if any man moves, I'll put a bullet through his head. Stick him up. Stick him up. Come on, out of that. Come on, over here. Hurry. Come on, come on. Down here, down here. Down. Hello. Well, it certainly fooled me. I thought you got a gun. I'm terribly sorry. Good evening, sir. Oh, good evening, Denny. This is Mr. Longworth, sir. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm Elsie. Oh, Elsie. Yes. Oh, I'm Bulldog Drum. That'll be the girl. Come let her in. Good, sir. A uh, girl? What girl? The most beautiful girl, I hope. At last, I have found you. Yes, I do want an explanation. Well, if it comes to that, so do I. Oh, I 
him masquerading as Drummond. Because I happened to bump into him and he asked me to do it. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. Danny, will you please explain? Yes, sir. It's quite right. Ah, that is the girl. Well, much as I deplore the word, I think you're an imposter. And I'm going to throw you up. You and the goddess with a hundred hands. Uh, no, uh, me and Danny. Oh. Excuse us interrupting, sir. I am Sergeant Gateshead, and this is Sergeant Robinson. We have orders to report to Captain Drummond's threat. So we'd just like to take a look around. Did you say Gateshead and Robinson? Yes. Oh, uh, you're not Captain Drummond, are you, sir? No, he's not. But go ahead. Right. Another of those, and I'll chuck you out. I'm trying to do a job for Drummond, and you're letting me down. Surely you don't believe that bluff, bluff? That isn't bluff. They're on the level. Of course they're not. Why do they are? They're the police. They're not. Crooks. They're police. They're crooks. Police. Crooks. What was that, sir? Uh, those things that build their nests high up in the trees. Yes, uh, rooks. Well, uh, everything appears to be all right here, sir. So if you don't want us, we'll be waiting downstairs in the entrance hall. Oh, won't you have a drink before you go? Oh, don't mind if I do. Thank you, sir. That's fine. Jenny, bring some drinks. Uh, step inside, gentlemen. Sit down. Make yourself at home. That's good. <laughs> Jenny, keep them in there while I get the police. Crooks. Now, look, sir. Yes. I think you're right. Those men are the real police. Of course they are. Now, Kiel, we must get rid of them before that lunatic makes things worse. One for Captain Drummond. Thank you. Yes, sir. Just a minute, sir. Please. Now, listen, Drummond. We'll see what that says. Well, we've got the old man. And if you leave it here, we'll get you as well. So take my advice and lay off. This is your final warning. Oh, I thought it was a girl. Girl? There's no girl. The whole thing's a frame up. I just had a quiet few minutes with a faithful postman. Those two men in there are the real police. The first two who came here and took the old man away were crooks. That's what I told you. Exactly, and why? Because you were trying to bluff me. There's something going on here, and I need to find out what it is. Bring in those two policemen. Well, sir, we can't. We knew there were the real police, so we sent them away. Ah, that settled it. You two are working together. I'm going to ring up Drummond. Oh, I wouldn't do that, sir. Then you're why? Most imprudent. The man's in hospital. You're afraid. No, sir. He mustn't be disturbed, that's all. The man's too ill. Maybe he's better. Hello, is that you, Denny? Yes, Captain Drummond. Ah. Is the girl there? No, sir. She hasn't arrived yet. Of course she hasn't. Look here, Drummond. I'm through with this. There's too much double crossing. Everybody turns out to be somebody else. Give me that phone, please. I don't trust anybody. Get these more. Uh, hello, you. This is the Almsy. Ask him to prove it. Excuse me, sir. Jenny speaking. Don't believe it. Let go. Who is that old man who came here? And why didn't he know what he'd done? I've had enough of this. It's too dangerous. I thought you said you wanted excitement. Yes, but I must know why I'm being excited. If I'm going to be shot at with guns, I must know when. I'm not getting a square deal. Who's been threatening you? What old man? Look here. There's something tremendous behind all this. You must stay and get the girl's story and then come and see me. Yes. Hello, hello. Oh, Captain Drummond. I'm so glad I found you. Okay. Right. Won't you sit down, Miss, uh... Miss Mandy. Miss Mandy. This is my old friend, Algie, uh... Now what? Uh, yes. I should forget my own name next. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Captain Drummond, I must talk to you at once. But I can only talk to you alone. You heard what the sandwich said? Or must I repeat it? Oh, well, I, I thought Denny and I might just throw some light on the problem. Well, go and throw it in the dining room. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, sorry, sir. Go oh, on, go on. Now, 
Hi, sir. What is your first name? Anne. Of course. You couldn't possibly be anything else. What is your telephone number? Talking to 9100. 9100. I hope you're not terribly busy, because we can have to spend a lot of time together. You see, the whole trouble began. Oh. Excuse me. All right. <coughs> now, you can take to tell me everything. Well, it's all about my grandfather. Who's he? His name is Salvini. He's an Italian officer. Painter? No, he works in metal and precious stones. And it all started about four weeks ago. We were together in his workshop. It was just beginning to get dark. I was just... Come in. Oh, it's you. Good evening, Miss Elvinia. How are you? Oh, that is our piece. Well, that keeps us young. And beautiful. My granddaughter, Mr. Moran. How do you do? What have you got there? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. She's going to inherit your touch, Selvin. Oh, yes. Yeah. You must bear her in mind. Why have you come here? I have another little commission I want you to do for me, Selby. Thank you. You see, I'm rather busy and... No. I can't take no for an answer. Do you remember the gold Cellini vase you copied for me? I don't want to touch these things again. Do you think you're altogether wise, my friend? Well, please. Won't you sit down, Mr. Moret? Now look here, sir. I can see you considerably more. I never found out exactly what happened. But from that moment, my grandfather was utterly changed. Several times, those men called for him at night and took him away with them. And then... Yes? Five days ago, they called for him again. He never returned. Miss Manders, you need have no further cause for anxiety. I found him. You have? Yes. Where is he? I don't know. I've mislaid him for the moment. Well, has he been here? Yes. But he couldn't stop because he had a pressing engagement with the goddess. But don't worry. I'll get him back for you. We'll reconstruct the whole thing. Slip away quietly and go straight round to the workshop. Don't you think it might be a little unwise, sir? Uh, what do you think, Mr. Algy? Yes, I quite agree. All John and wanted was the information and... Just exactly what are you talking about? I... I, I really don't know. I've got the information, haven't I? Oh, uh, yes. 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 I think he means that the matter is no longer in our hands. You're talking nonsense. Miss Manders knows perfectly well there's only one person who can tackle this job, and that's Bulldog Drummond. Huh. Yes, that's what I mean. You don't mean a thing. Let's make a start. No, no, sir, you can't do it. If it wasn't for the fact that you served me faithfully all these years, I dismiss you on the spot. Out of here. I warn you. I can't come. I don't want you to come. All right, I will come. It's a pity I said that. Positive. 
Something written on here. Bloomsbury. Oh, it looks like his writing. I wonder if it's meant to convey anything. Well, this is a job for the expert brain. Algy, here's your big chance. Algy. Algy. Oh, good heavens. You have ignored my warning. What a pity. What comes of making yourself a nuisance? Are you Miss Sanders? Yes. They sent me over from the hospital. I have a message from Mr. Salvini. Hospital? Yes. He's not hurt. No, Miss. Only a slight concussion. It appears that two men pretending to be detectives were rushing him away in a car when it skidded into a lamppost. Oh. I must go to him. Where is it? How did you get in here? Mr. Salvini gave me his key. Oh, that's it? That's his chain? No. I can drive you over to the hospital if you care to come in the ambulance. Oh, thank you very much. I think I have to go at once. Right. I'll come with you. I'll come as well. You go get yourself tied up again. this place. That fellow who tied you up just now, how do you suppose he got away? I don't know at all. Well, go and find out. Me? Yes. Why, are you afraid? Yes. Did you like that? Certainly not. Where's that? Like a couple of rats. One rat. GLO-13. You haven't. Thank you. Uh, uh, hello. 
Uh, is, that, is that the general hospital? Uh, they have you an ambulance BL013? Uh, what? Oh, th thank you very much. Yes. <coughs> Are you feeling better now? It was you. Yes. I knew it. You took him away. Where is he? You're forcing him to do something like... like you did before with the Cellini bomb. You can go now. Have you got an ambulance GL013? Have you an ambulance GL013? Have you got an ambulance? Have you an ambulance GL013? GL013? Have you got an ambulance GL013? Oh, really? Yes. Yes. I've had the real gems replaced by fakes. <laughs> Made by Salvini. Last night, this one remaining piece was to have been substituted. Salvini's escape cost me twelve valuable hours. And now you've got him back? You're forcing to do that, too? No. That's where you come in, Miss Mander. I? How? Now, you are almost as skillful as he is. You must take his place. I had nothing to do with it. I know he wouldn't want me to. Have you not gone to Drummond? I would have had all the time I wanted. I won't do it. Take this lady to Salvini. You've seen your grandfather and talked with him. I'm sure you'll realize how necessary it is he should return at once to home comforts. Otherwise, I cannot be responsible for the consequences. Come on, lady. Oh, why don't you do it in a proper manner, in the daytime? 
Well, you better work fast in business. Yes, it's been like it's left up overnight. Well, it's been empty now for 12 months. I think we'll take it, don't you, Burrows? Yes, I do, Harrington. Sure. Let's find the contact right away. Well, if I were you, sir, I'd wait until the morn. Good night. Good night. Good night. I, Carlos. Oh, I can't find the contact up here. Oh, of course. Let me down. Right. What? Right. Yes, right. Well, this place has been shut up for 12 months. I don't suppose she's here. I'm certain she is. And we've got to get inside somehow. Well, you obviously need to do so by train. Well, I'll come too. You'll never come too. <laughs> I don't think we ought to go in there. I'm sure it's private property. Yeah, somebody's back guard. Yeah. Terribly dark. If you were really Drummond, you'd have a torch. And if you were really my assistant, you'd have brought one. Oh, I'm sorry for all the unkind things I've said to you. Oh, hello. Are you all right? Yes. Oh, I knew you'd find me. 
How did you get here? I came by tube. How did you get here? Morel. You were right about the gun. They've been forcing him to copy the message, piece by piece. Oh, he's been spent. And now, in, in desperation, he's burned his hands. Badness? No, just enough to stop him working. But why have they brought you here? Because now they want me to do the job. Where? I don't know. He won't tell me. Salvini? No. He's asleep. He'll probably come for me in a few minutes. The job has to be finished tonight. Good. I've just arrived in time. We'll have them gagged and bound in half an hour. Algy, as a night errant in shining armor, you will ride forth and telephone Scratchel Yard. Depart. Talk with. What, down that tunnel? Down that tunnel. Well, I, I'd much rather not. Have you a stout heart? Yes. Then take it down the tunnel. Yes. You look like a magnificent lioness. I wish I could give you a bun. <laughs> May I do that? <coughs> what about a little supper? I'll turn up and get a taste. Algy! You have to affect a gallant rescue first. If I do, will you come out with me? I could never refuse Captain Drummond. Supposing I wasn't Captain Drummond, you wouldn't be interested. Well, I... Oh, would you? Where did you get that? Say yes, and I'll get you back. No, I won't. All right, then. I shall keep your mouth. <laughs> All right, then, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. I've got to get you out of here at once. I must find something to break down these gates. Stay where you are while I come back. Well, I'd like that. Go 
your methods are very drastic, I mean business. And unless I arrive there with this Anderson Salvini within the next 20 minutes, he will go immediately to Scotland Yard. Are you sure he hasn't gone already? Yes. Pretty certain. Of course, he has a very individual way of working. But there's a slight possibility that we may have misunderstood each other. I gave him his instructions, and possibly he lost his way, so to speak. Yet I don't think it's possible. Might I ring him up? Certainly. Thank you. Hello. Is this the wrong work in? Yeah. Oh, Algy, you remember that telephone number I gave you? Whitehall 1212. Did you use it? You did. Oh, the number was engaged. That was lucky. What? Do I want you to send the police here? Certainly not. Hello? 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 <coughs> He's wrong off. <coughs> Captain Dobbin and I were wondering whether you managed to phone the police or not. Yes, I know. How do you know? Well, uh, you rang me up at the flat. You got here very quickly. Uh, yes, I... I now, Camarell, I'll give you exactly ten minutes to hand over Miss Manders and Salvini. Good about the girl? I'll come straight down. Remember, ten minutes. I'm sorry to appear distracted, but I cannot make up my mind whether to kill you now or later. Well, I hope he makes it later. Oh, my dear young lady, now you've seen your grandfather, I hope you've changed your mind. No. You still think Captain Drummond will help you? I know he will. I'm sorry to dash your hopes, but your friend doesn't happen to be Captain Drummond. And anyway, at this moment, he is my prisoner. I know you're saying all this to try to frighten me. Longworth, had you not entered my house through the roof of my conservatory, I might have been less suspicious. I must apologize for appearing abstracted, but I have decided to kill you now. I defy you, Morel. Nevertheless, I shall have to kill you, and I'm going to do it entirely by myself in the tunnel. We're going to... I'm a little short-sighted, but who are you exactly? Bulldog Drummond. Very odd. Miss Manders, Bulldog Drummond is in a hospital with a broken arm. Is this true? Certainly not. Mr. Longworth, is this true? Well, yes. Why waste time with this man, Miss Manders? You and your grandfather might be free in a few hours if you will do what I want. Don't listen to him. Very well. I'll do it. Splendid. You take this lady down. Come on. You and Hugh will look after these gentlemen here. Over there, you two. Go there as far as staircase. Tom, you take Colonel B. I forbid you to do it. I'm not interested. Anne. And don't call me Anne. Come on. Down here. Come on. All right. You are not going to 
going out after all, Captain Dolan. Might I trouble you for my coat and filthy hat? Come along. been in this racket. And can anybody join? Because he'd like to. Ah, now, what about a nice little game of find the lady? My friend's an expert. Show him that stuff you do in the train. He's so good, he'll give you a quid every time you find the lady. Go on, do your stuff. You two stay here. Come along, Miss Mandel. Give him a quid. Yes, now this time you're not going to find me. Give him another quid. Now this time I'll make it really difficult. If you find it, I'll give you a couple of quid. Hey, what's up? Hey, Mark, the president's here. Wait a minute. Who's doing this? Hey, Mark, get that gun. I'll be getting that gun. Open that door. Open that door. Open that door. Open that door. Goodbye, boys. I'll take you up to trouble.
around. I am brought him away. away. Is he one of the gang? No, what? of course not. No, he's my friend. How do you do? It's Captain Drummond. He came here to help us. Come along, tell me. Oh, yes. But I mean, it's a beast. Oh, what? what? Now, he told so come. For well, the man we've got to find. I chased him from the museum. He's got the jewels. We'll find him down here and get him on the line. He must search the place. You take the first tunnel. You take the second. Jackson, find that opening over there. And the rest of you get these fellas into the train. Oh, but and, uh, you, you stay there with him, Mr. Oh, it's Andrew. Well, I'll just go outside and keep him. Oh, I'll just go outside and keep him.
behind it. Come on, you cat. Come on. Over there. Over there. Sit down. Sit down. Now then, where are those jewels? Come on, hand over. Ah. I got them. You look after those. Yeah. Now I'm going to drive you back to the next station. Thank you so much for what you've done for us. Oh, not at all. I'm sure. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like Captain Drummond to do? No, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Well, no. Then there's something I'd like you to do. What? Come out to supper with me again tomorrow night. Oh, I don't know. Really, yeah, they see the thing. I laughed in the tube last night. The lady the rest is coming. Captured a crazy jewel thief in his den. Who's on Drummond does it again? Drummond. He's a knockout, that fella. Romantic rescue of girl from this prison. Here's a picture of her. Is she attractive? Well, what do you think, Emma? What do you think? Oh, I think she's okay. Yeah. So do I. Do you think she'll fall for this fellow Drummond? Well, how do I know, Governor? What do you say? I'll come out and talk to you tomorrow night. Here, give me that stuff.